the system isn't broken. The system is fixed. And if you want financial freedom moving forward, don't look to some politician to fix everything for you. This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth with breaking news. We may have just witnessed the world's first libertarian to be selected as a head of state. Javier Mille just became the new president-elect of Argentina, and this is a step in the right direction. But please don't get too carried away here because not everything is as it appears to be. Javier Mille's win comes at a time when Argentina's central bank has driven inflation up by 143%. People are absolutely tired and fed up with their failed economy and Javier Miele is promising to fix all the damage that has been done over the last couple of decades. And from a libertarian and even an anarchist perspective, he seems to be saying all the right things, like that he wants to shut down the central bank. He wants to shrink the overall size of government. He wants to change abortion laws because he knows it's murder. He called climate change a socialist lie, and he supports gun rights. These are all good things. But what is his plan when it comes to fixing the economy? The number one issue that he was essentially selected to fix in Argentina. Is he looking at Bitcoin? as a potential means to bring financial freedom to the people of Argentina? Or better yet, is he considering gold as an option and a safe haven in these troubling times? Well, one would like to think so, but unfortunately, no, this is not the case. Have your Mille wants to swap out the peso and replace it with the dollar, the very same dollar that the BRICS nations are currently waging war against. But Javier Mille rejected their invitation to join in on the de-dollarization movement. And while the Dutch Central Bank admits that it's preparing for a new gold standard, Germany, on the other hand, is working on a bold move to crush BRICS dominance with an eventual digital euro, also known as a central bank digital currency. So in today's video, we're gonna break all of this down for you, but considering that we are talking about financial solutions here to economic problems, I wanna take a quick moment to tell you about my friends at Patriot Gold Group. Guys, when you call that number on the screen, you'll get connected to a free investor's guide. This is a real live person, not some AI chat bot, a real live person who you can talk to at no cost just by calling the number who's gonna help you set up a financial plan moving forward. And what these guys specialize in is 401ks and IRAs that are backed by precious metals like physical gold and silver. It's absolutely awesome. This is a really good hedge against the dollar crash that we know is coming. It's a hedge against inflation that is showing no signs of slowing. Uh, not to mention, it's a really good uh, Christmas gift, which is coming up right around the corner. You know, I just recently um, received one of these as a gift from someone in the mail. It's a newly minted 2023 American Eagle uh, ounce of silver, you know? Now, I was so pleased to get this because it's real, tangible, assets real money and uh this is this is where it's at moving forward guys so again it's a cool gift idea and once again when you call that number on the screen during business hours you will get to speak to a financial planner who will help you set up a plan moving forward if you already have a 401k or ira they'll roll it over for you and you might even be eligible for a no fee for life ira again when you call the number on the screen during business hours so please Take a moment, check out the top link in the description below, or call that number. Check out my friends at Patriot Gold Group. All right guys, let's take a quick look at this article from Zero Hedge. Anti-woke central bank nemesis Javier Mille wins Argentina's presidential election. Javier Mille, the outsider libertarian candidate with radical solutions to Argentina's economic crisis, has just won Sunday's presidential runoff against economy minister Sergio Massa. In a surprise outcome, Massa conceded in a speech to supporters in Buenos Aires on Sunday, even before the official results were released, saying he called Mille to congratulate him on his victory. 
Javier Mille, a 53-year-old far-right economist and former television pundit with no governing experience, claimed nearly 56% of the vote, with more than 80% of votes tallied. It was a stunning upset over Sergio Massa, the center-left economies minister, uh, who has struggled to resolve the country's worst economic crisis in two decades. Voters in this nation of 46 million demanded a drastic change from a government that has sent the peso tumbling, inflation skyrocketing, and more than 40% of the population into poverty. And with Miele, Argentina takes a leap into the unknown with the leader promising to shatter the entire system, which the locals now correctly realize is broken. But guess what, guys? The system isn't broken. The system is fixed. By embracing the failing dollar instead of gold, or at least a gold-backed currency, President-elect Miele is just ensuring that this fixed system is going to continue. And on top of all of this, you gotta look at what Germany is currently doing. Germany's bold move to crush BRICS dominance, will the digital euro work? Germany has embarked on a bold initiative aimed at challenging the established dominance of BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa currency in the global economic landscape. The focal point of this audacious move is the indoctrination of the digital euro, a groundbreaking digital currency set to revolutionize the financial sector. As Germany positions itself at the forefront of this technological and economic transformation, the world watches with keen interest to assess the potential impact on the balance of power among major economies. The BRICS alliance intends to introduce a new currency to the global currency market in order to compete with the US dollar and the euro. A former advisor to the Russian presidency, Sergei Glazyev, verified earlier this month that the BRICS currency is almost ready for introduction. According to reports, the alliance could launch the currency at its 16th summit in 2024. This development aligns with Germany's strategic intention to challenge rival currencies in the market by de uh, developing a digital euro. Legislators throughout Europe, not just in Germany, are attempting to establish national digital currencies in order to adapt to the shifting financial landscape. While over 150 countries are currently developing CBDCs, only a few have launched pilots as of this year. This article will, will examine whether Germany intends to introduce CBDC as a counterbalance to the forthcoming BRICS currency. And I will include a link to that article in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. So it's not looking good for Germany and Argentina's future might not be better off, but take a close look at what the Dutch are doing. Dutch Central Bank admits it has prepared for a new gold standard. In a recent interview, the Dutch Central Bank, or the DNB, shares that it has equalized its gold reserves relative to GDP to other countries in the Eurozone and outside of Europe. This has been a political decision. If there is a financial crisis, the gold price will skyrocket and official gold reserves can be used to underpin a new gold standard, according to the Dutch Central Bank. These statements confirm what I have been writing for for the past uh, years about central banks having prepared for a new international gold standard. Wouldn't a central bank that has one primary objective, maintaining price stability, serve its mandate best by communicating the currency it issues can be relied upon in all circumstances? By saying gold will be the safe haven of choice during a financial collapse, the DNB confesses that its own currency, the euro, does not weather all storms. Indirectly, DNB encourages people to own gold to be protected from financial shocks, making the transition towards a gold-based monetary system more likely. And that's where it is, guys. That's where it's at. If Argentina's new president-elect wants to get behind gold, now that would be something to celebrate. But like I said in the very beginning, guys, the system isn't broken. The system is fixed. And if you want financial freedom moving forward, don't look to some politician to fix everything for you. And instead, take financial responsibility into your own hands by first getting out of debt 
and then by investing in the precious metal space like with gold and silver. And on that note, guys, I want to remind you once again to check out my friends at Patriot Gold Group. You can call that number that was on the screen or you can click the top link in the description below. And that's all for today, my friends. I just wanted to bring all of this to your attention. Uh, once again, if you do appreciate my efforts to bring you this info, please click that thumbs up button. Share this video with your friends and family who you think might need to see it the most. And stay tuned, we're gonna have more video reports coming soon. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. We all want truth. truth. The truth will set you free. free.